Hello, this is Angel again, and I'm going to show you our next kit. This is uh, HS2000. This is HS2000 dry cell, which is the same size as HS4000, almost, because the fatness is smaller. So the size here is again 190 millimeters by 890 millimeters. And the fatness with the bolt is 85 millimeters or 3.5 inches almost. Uh, the other size is uh, 7.5 inch by 7.5 inch as I showed that. So this dry cell, it's HS2000 Pro, which have only six plates, uh, five millimeter space between the plates one positive and one negative as you can see here uh, plastic end plates polypropylene plastic to be exact we're using again these pushing fittings made in europe which are 360 degrees movable so you can move them each direction you need during installation uh, what else this is double smaller than the hs4000 as a uh, depth size so and this dry cell we are using for engines between one liter and 2.5 liters it's called pro because it's uh, with this size and uh, space between the plates as i said five millimeters consists more water uh, more liquid electrolyte actually during operation so it uh, it works much stable and uh, uh, very good and uh, it has longer lifespan also circulates very well between the dry cell and the reservoir so this is the generator the next element is the reservoir uh, again with pushing fittings which are made in Europe very reliable no leaks I see that some people commenting about leaks of such connectors they are made in China maybe I'm not sure but uh, for sure these connectors which are made in Europe they don't leak we test them many times we are working with these connectors for more than 10 years maybe we used about hundreds of thousands of these uh, connectors and we have very few pieces by hundred thousand pieces uh, Defected, which is almost nothing, it's much, much below zero percent on the whole amount of connectors. Of course, uh, we have inside uh, stainless steel flow switch, which is turning on and off our system automatically. Our own cap, which is made by us uh, with a silicone gasket, very important because we need you no know, leaks of gas. We need the gas to go into the engine and to the, uh, into the air intake, not to, to the air. And uh, Okay, this is the reservoir. Next element, uh, as you probably know, this is the bubbler. Bubbler has functions, two functions actually, to collecting the rough steam from the produced gas, which is coming out from the reservoir, from the top connector of the reservoir, is coming to the top connector of the bubbler. And it's bubbling here, if here is some liquid, then it goes to the engine intake. The bubbler has two rows, first collecting the rough steam, if there is a rough steam after longer operation. Uh, and the second, it's uh, acting as an anti-flashback anti -flashback system. Uh, because if here is some liquid and there is a spark coming back from the engine which is happening mostly from carburetor engines not from diesel or petrol injection engines but it's possible uh, quite rare but in any way this is a safety device which is a must for each system it doesn't matter what kind of dry cell vehicle or reservoir but bubbler is a must in each system we have a holder as well on that uh, uh, bubbler so it's easy to mount it on the vehicle uh, another important thing this is the hose the hose that we are using it's a polyamide 12 hose as a standard we are not using garden hose like some other people using garden hose which is not reliable and you won't see garden hose in any of the vehicles 
any 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 time you can see that because none of the manufacturers is using garden hose in their vehicles this is not uh, trustable not reliable and it's not compatible with uh, functionality standards regulations and so on that's why people using polyamide 12 which is also made in europe we are using all the time and 100 percent of our uh, parts and items they are made in europe because we need uh, trustable products uh, components parts uh, even washers nuts bolts anything we can use it's made in europe so we have we we need quality we don't need cheap stuff uh, as you can see i can plug it exactly into the pushing fitting which is uh, designed to fit exactly in that fitting the holes and uh, i can even hold it like this it's sustainable i can hold even hs4000 like that so if i want to release that it's very easy just pull back this ring and you can unplug it in this case i will plug it very reliable connectors they will never leak if you plug it properly so make sure it's plugged properly and you will never have a problem with that uh, another thing we have the main wires positive and negative colors red and black of course another thing is that we have the other wires uh, one uh, those actually are six square millimeter section because they're carrying more load this is only control wires so they are one square millimeter section and we have another two for the LED indicator which must be installed actually this light indicator which must be installed near the dashboard of your vehicle so you can see when the system is working and when it's not working so uh light indicator as well we have uh, in the kit included holders for your dry cell so you have to hold it very well at least on four points to the vehicle it doesn't matter if it will be behind the bumper near the engine or it doesn't matter just make sure the dry cell is holded very well because it's uh, 4.5 kilos and it's heavy so it should be installed very very well and uh, imagine that in your vehicle there is vibrations during uh, driving the vehicle so that's why we need a stable and uh, stable connection the dry cell the bubbler the reservoir all of these items they are heavy and they must be installed very very well uh next item that we have in the system this is the fuse this is part of the electrical system actually so this is very important as well we are using 30 amp automatic fuse uh, another thing that we are using in our system this is a three-way connector so together with the valve drain valve you can you can drain the system if you want you can rinse it actually it needs to be rinsed in once uh, in six months or once in a year a year it depends on your mileage actually uh the next important thing this is the gas inlet connector so you can make eight eight millimeter hole into the gas uh, into the air holes right after the mass airflow sensor or uh before the mass airflow sensor depends on the vehicles depends on the different type of vehicle and um, uh, just make eight millimeter hole and just plug it so there will be no nut on the inner side of the hose where is the vacuum of the engine and nothing will go to the turbo or air intake or nothing can damage uh, damage the vehicle i will speak about all these precautions uh, during installation videos we will make on different uh, vehicles so this is very important element as well and this is the basic kit hs2000 actually so if you want you can control this kit with constant current pwm just there is a knob on this side you can provide this to the to uh, uh, inside the vehicle so you can control it all the time if you want or you can leave it under the hood and uh, just uh, set it up once and leave it like that so it's turning on you can see you can hear actually this clicking sound turning it on then you can regulate the amperage so more amps means more gas and more power consumption from the charging system of course but it does not change 
based on anything like anything else. Just this is the control device, this knob, actually. And the other way is that you can control the HS2000 with our dynamic PWM, which is uh, developed by us. This device has a software. We've made hundreds of tests, so it's totally automated. After hundreds of tests, actually, we've made this device uh, to be fully compatible with all of diesel and petrol injection engines. It takes different parameters from the system and from the vehicle as well. And based on that, it's calculating uh, this, the software is calculating how to react and what to do. Actually, so this is uh, the better option. It's really sophisticated based on our experience more than 12, 13 years. I don't know. I don't remember exactly how long I'm doing this. But anyway, uh, we've developed this device and uh, we spent like nine months to making the software about this to be compatible with all of the vehicles. And uh, this is really sophisticated device. So when you choose to use this device, which is really compact as well and fully automated, this will be much easier than as a user experience because you don't have to touch anything else. Just the only thing is you have to refill electrolyte into the reservoir. Uh, when you see that the LED indicator installed near the dashboard of your vehicle does not light. So if it, if it doesn't light means that the system is not operational because the uh, liquid electrolyte level in the reservoir is lower. It gets to the minimum. Uh, and uh, floating switch inside the reservoir turn off that device which turn off the system. So everything is automatic once you refill electrolyte into the system and uh, dynamic PWM will start automatically to work again. So you don't have to worry about it. So especially your wife doesn't have to worry about it because we have that uh, user experience that somebody of our customers, uh, friends, uh, is controlling the system, but his his wife does not controlling anything. <laughs> so we've made it also um, wife compatible, if I may say. <laughs> uh, if you like this video, please give us a like, share it, and you can comment if you have some questions. Uh, if you like us or hate us, you can comment all the time below. If you have technical questions, write below the video or send questions to our email office at hydroxystems.com and my team will try to reply to you as soon as possible don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, click on the bell so you will see more interesting videos in the future we will make a lot of videos about a lot of topics in this in this niche about hho and hydrogen gas so thank you for watching our video and if you have some questions don't forget to to uh, write to us and uh, I wish you a pleasant day. Thank you.